check, check, check. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. How you guys doing? Everybody doing alright tonight? Let's change up the acoustic music a little bit. Ah, yes. I missed this song. Relaxing. Might, need, might be due for a stream makeover here soon. Work on some new scenes or something. Maybe we'll have to bring back the full body green screen. I miss those days. It was just so much work though, doing all that stuff. Angie, AKA Florian. Wiz, thanks for stopping in. Even though you're not hanging out, I appreciate it. Good to see you. Tardis Rich. Shark Lar, that's a cool name. Pride Plantains. Anonymous Atheist, hello. Harry Gold, hello. Sismon Leach. Did you guys see the Todd Howard interview where he said that Starfield is optimized as heck on PC. If you have performance issues, you should just upgrade. I did watch that. And right when the interviewer asked the question, I knew that Todd was screwed. There was no answer that he could possibly give in that situation that would have made people happy. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Even if there is some truth behind what he said, there's no way he could have said it in a way that would have uh, would have looked good for him. <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay, to the tavern, and let's jump right into part 13 of Baldur's Gate 3, Evil Tactician Run. To the tavern. You know, despite Starfield not being as good as I hoped it would be, I'm actually still really pumped for the Elder Scrolls 6. And it's probably going to be a primary focus of the channel in the in the couple years leading up to its release. I think I'm going to become an Elder Scrolls expert on the lore. I have some Elder Scrolls books, probably replay Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. I'm just kind of excited thinking about the Elder Scrolls 6. Starfield's a pass for you. What's up, TARDIS? Omizu, hello. Okay, let's jump right into it. Let me start up the game real fast. So you guys don't have to stare at a black screen. Waiting for network. That's not a good start. Elder Scrolls has good lore. Yes, it does. Oh, crap. I have to download an update. Oh, it's almost done. Whoa, that was quick. The Schmigs, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, thank you. All right, game's starting up. Sergio, hello. What about the posting of the stream on the Discord? Did I not post it? Hold on. I did post it. Part 13. Tiny ass hotfix? Okay, cool. My Dark Urge run a couple days ago finally got to see something different that wasn't already showcased at Larian at the panel from Hell. There's something wrong with my internet? Hold on, wait, did I post the stream in the wrong channel? I'm going on my Discord right now under streams. It says part 13 posted at 7.01 p.m. Two people have liked it. Where's my TARDIS and gold heart? Okay, back to the game. Um, oh yeah, so we saved Minthara last stream. Now, from what I understand, <sighs> there's no way that you can side with Ketherick Thorm. Because he turns on his allies, regardless if you're evil and you want to follow the Absolute, or if you're good and you're trying to take down the Absolute. So I don't think it really matters what I do here with Minthara, because we're going to be fighting Ketherick regardless. Hey, Saul. Leda, hello, hello. No spoilers? All right, we'll see you, Amitsu. It was fun having you here for two minutes. Swift as my feet can carry me. So we're going to try to get Minthara out of here. Because my Dragonborn can sense, can sense that Cutheric Thor may be turning on us and that we want Minthara as a long-term ally. That's what my Dragonborn can sense, and that's how we're going to RP it. Yeah. 
Hold on, let me switch my screen up a little bit so I can see the chat a little bit better. I think that's probably good. Congrats on beating the game. This saber. Hoping we could side with one of the chosen. Can you not side with Orin or Gortash either? I actually don't even think I want to know that. Because that'll get me down a little bit. Whoa. Whoa, what am I doing here? There we go. I will speak when I am free. All right, so let's group everybody up. Uh, pop a short rest. Time to get going. Let's see if we can get Minthar out the back, maybe near the docks. Without setting off the entirety of Moonrise Towers. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. I like how there's so many different, like, you just never know what... There's so many different ways to play this game because... Like I said, I'm, an, I'm doing an evil playthrough, but I'm at a bit of a crossroads. If I didn't have any knowledge on the game, I would have no idea what to do right now, because Minthara is an evil character, and I want her in my group, but Catherick's also an evil character, and I want to appeal to him. So it's like, they both hate each other right now. Catherick basically sentenced Minthara to death, for the most part, kinda, or sentenced her to prison. You don't know what to do. I like that Larian has presented us with options like that. Wait, hold on. What is this? Is this, is this a light? Does this allow you to jump down into the place that... We this isn't the hole that I went in before. Hold on. Okay, yep, that brings us back down into here. Whoa, that's freaky. Look at that. Char considers Cuthric Thorm a traitor. Yeah, and then you have the whole story with Char, who's an evil goddess. Of the Shadow Weave, of Darkness, the Lady of Loss. Who also isn't teamed up with the Absolute. There's so many different angles that you get pulled in in this game. Like, you can straight up do an evil playthrough that's totally against the Absolute. Now, how many permutations are there to represent that? Not entirely sure, but... Let me eat those tadpoles. These boots have seen everything. Can't join the Shadow Druids. I know that would be pretty cool. I don't play a big enough part in the overall story. Minthara has asked for our help escaping Moonrise Towers. We'll have to escort her until we put some distance between us and the forces of the Absolute. Um, yeah, so let's go to the docks real fast. We actually might have to fight our way out of this place. I'm not entirely sure. Unless we could use Disguise Person or Disguise Self on Minthara or something like that. Or Invisibility, but I already used up my Invisibility Potion. Oh, we have to go up there. Interesting. Dang it. The quicker, the better. Nope, we can't do that. Okay, well, this should be interesting. We gotta take Minthara out the front door, I think. Half my party's at camp right now. This should actually be pretty fun, not gonna lie. This should be really fun. So let's go ahead and 
get everybody else to the front of Moon Eyes. Move. The quicker. The if not over, then through. Yeah, it would have been cool if there was an entire Shadow Druid quest line. It's up outside of Act One. Hey, fishing, what's up? Enjoy your playthrough. Don't spoil yourself on my stream. All right, so let's see here. We don't have a moon lantern, which is really unfortunate. your We could use arrows of darkness. An honor. Ah, oh, no. Hold on. I wonder if we can do this. Now, invisibility only lasts for 10 turns. I'm wondering if I can throw a potion of invisibility at Minthara. I've got a long road ahead. That would be pretty cool. Let's play as Minthara. She is a Vengeance Pally, so perfect. We're training in Vengeance Pally. Can't give her a weapon or anything, really? Oh, you're not going to come with me, brother? At least things have stayed interesting. One day I'll catch a break. Half-orcs are badass. I know Tardis played a half-orc on his first run. Just finished my first playthrough. Congrats, Tony. That's awesome. What a game. I know, right? Easier to murder hobo. <laughs> true. Very, very true. How am I liking the evil run? Is it as difficult to make these choices? I love all the characters too much. Yeah, you know, it took me a little while to be okay with doing evil things in games, but once that switch turned in my brain... I'll do anything. It doesn't bother me at all. I'll kick a squirrel. I'll thunderwave squirrels off a cliff. I'll decapitate Scratch. I don't care. It's a video game, right? Or is it? All right, we got to go this way. Wait, no, this is the stairs right here. Okay, so hold on. You can't separate her, so let me bring Wolf over. And the dreams came. My brothers had the dreams too. Same as me. Never a dull moment. Okay, so Minthara is going to come up into this room. Still worth one camp supply, even though it's spoiled. As long as Boo is safe. Yeah, actually, I don't think I could kill Boo. That might be too far for myself.
keep going. Misty Step takes you out of invisibility? Leda, thanks so much for the $5 super chat. For next run, I think I'll play Lazelle. You should do that. Get the Yankee need, need more love. Thanks a lot. Roll. Roll, 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 roll. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting, interesting. Survival is all that matters. myself into a bit of a pickle here. Ah, a little fun at last. Really don't want the entire tower to be hostile towards me because we have to explore the second floor, you know what I'm saying? Yo, 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 yo! It's all going sideways. When's it not going sideways, you know? What are you... Well, we're gonna see if we can get out of this pickle without reloading. Only Minthara had inventory to change everything.
they're just gonna never stop chasing her because she's a party member and not a camp, not an actual, which is kind of silly. Yeah, this sucks. It sucks that they don't give us full control over her, because I could have had her gone in two seconds. I wonder where I can get a moon lantern from. Hey, Oliver, what's up? I'm not worried about the moon lantern at this moment, because if I can get far enough away, we can fast travel away. But I would like a moon lantern, though. All right, hold on. Yeah, this is, this is bullshit, man. Minthara can't escape, no matter what. There's just no way to have her escape. But maybe if she goes inside something, I think they're going to chase her forever. Let's see, one more turn. Yeah, all right. Okay. To do. Oh, this is gonna be rough. One, two. Okay. Free for the taking. How hard is tactician difficulty in your opinion? I'm playing unbalanced, a bit scared of tactician. I think if you are not being challenged on balanced, tactician will be fine. Overall, the entire mode has been easier than most people expected. So a lot of us are hoping that they come out with an even harder mode at some point. I think if you're not really being challenged on balanced, tactician will be fine. It's not going to be like a crazy, crazy leap in difficulty. And thank you. Okay. These guys are yellow, it's kind of funny. Funny how this is playing out. Pretty low on HP.
That's over for good now. She's dead. This is so weird how this this is played out. I was just attacking those guys and they're not they're not trying to kill me anymore. Another parasite collected. It might be useful. Can't be resurrected. Light on my feet. Can't be resurrected. Okay, well, you know what? It was fun. I gotta admit. It was a lot of fun. But we have to reload. Because Minthara has to be our companion. Happy birthday, Dave. Hope you're having a wonderful day. An evil playthrough? Yes, sir. All right. Well, you know what? Even though none of that really mattered because we are going back to a prior load point, it was pretty cool trying stuff out. And I never should have used Misty Step. Never should have used Misty Step when she was invisible. Let me try that again. Let's see. Let's go to... Turn invisible, the condition ends early if you attack or cast a spell. So there you go. Learning experience. I'm going to try that again. I know we have the shadow curse to worry about. What I'm thinking is, if I can get out, I can fast travel to camp and then Minthara's quest is possibly complete. I'm not sure if that's how it's going to work out. Um, but that was my initial goal until we got caught. Feeling pretty good. How about you, Rocky? Go out the doors in the prison, not the stairs. Go out the doors in the prison? I was just in the prison. Um, no, let's stick to my first plan here. I just want to see if this works. I got a plan, and I'm going to try it. So hold on, let's take Minthara again. Soft as silk. And potion of invisibility. Here we go. Okay, she has 10 turns. Might as well just do it in real time. It's more intense. Many hearts, one soul. Why am I being seen? Oh, by the eyes, maybe? Okay, we made it. Now we take everybody else. We group them together. Oh, no, no, not Minthar. She better be staying over there. <sighs> okay. Put her in your inventory, and then we fast travel to Moonrise Towers. Go on. Move. Whippy. That is complete bullshit. Minthara just teleported all the way back. What? We got gypped. Hey, Todd, how are you? Yeah, 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 I know people have said there's going to be speech checks, but I don't like to just do what everybody tells me in the chat. I like to just kind of try to figure things out on my own and try things, because that's like the fun of playing video games, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's try it again. And I'm going to move my party with her. Don't waste a step. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. My step. Shit, run out of time.
And when you're in the moment and you don't know how things are going to play out, that's okay. Like, even if I could just walk out here and do a couple dialogue checks and, and Minthara's free, I technically don't know that I can do that. Well, I do because you guys told me in the chat, which is okay. But that's why I'm kind of just ignoring that because I'm trying to play it as if I didn't know because I didn't technically know until you guys told me. So I'm, I'm kind of RPing that I don't know that, which which allows for, for great fun. Let's go over here. Let's see if we can do this now. Voila. How about that? Did it my own way and it was fun. Tit F5. I will speak when I am free. Uh, bruh, I don't know how many, how much more free you're going to get, my girl. Um, we're literally at a camp right now. Where am I supposed to take her? Gold. Okay, I lost Minthara for good again. I love the artwork in this game. Where is this? Oh, that's Worms Rock Crossing right there, and then the city of Baldur's Gate. Duskhawk Hill. And then whatever that little villain is that the friendly arm in right there? I don't think it is. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Minthara is not here. <laughs> Caster weapon attacks won't be as effective as their spells. What if you're a spell blade though? You don't know that, Larian. You don't know the build that we're running with. You know what I'm saying? What if I'm playing a Pact of the Blade Warlock? Go on. Move. The quicker, the better. Nope, can't go to bed. Okay, well, I guess my way is not the way to do it. To keep going. You know what I need to find? Where's that stupid pixie lantern? Yeah, that's not it. I've officially quicker, broken the, the game better. with Minthara right now. Power to meet you at camp? Wait, was that an option? What is it? What's wrong? That doesn't do anything. I need you to wait here. We're between the absolute teeth, B. Okay, one more try. We're going to go to the bridge with the invisibility potion, and then we'll talk to her in dialogue and see what it does. And if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to have to find a moon lantern or find that pixie lantern or something like that. We definitely broke it a little bit, though. Things have stayed interesting. Minthara, get your ass over here. 
No time to rest. I refuse to play Starfield because I'm salty they haven't made and released S6 yet. Hey, LeBron. <laughs> Luck of the Far Realms. Should I do a critical hit throwing the invisibility potion at Menthara? I can kill with a whisper. What's up, losers? Another step forward. Guys, if you're gonna keep spamming, telling me what to do in the chat, I just start ignoring the comments. We're trying things out and figuring it out. I appreciate the help. Oh shit, nobody's following me right now? Uh oh, we got a problem. What the? Never a dull moment. Time to press ahead. Your family will Shit, Minthara. Run! Run, I say! <laughs> that was close. I don't know why Shadowheart didn't... What does Shadow got on her right now? She's hacked. What's wrong with her? I think I broke the game today. Wait, why is my dragon? Oh, okay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I get it. My dragonborn wasn't with the group. I'm not singling anybody out. I, I understand that you guys are helping. Sometimes I get in moods, though, where I look up a chat and it's just 40 people telling me what I should be doing. And if I read it and I do what people tell me, it makes me more confused and it throws off my entire plan and then I'm not enjoying myself. And then you guys aren't enjoying the stream. Some nights I get on people about it. Some nights I don't at all. It's all good. You guys can keep being you, okay? I can handle it myself. I will speak when I am free. I last left Moonrise. Ooh, we did it. As a commander in the Absolute's army, obeying the voice of a god. I thought I had found a home and a purpose. Now I leave as an exile. But you risked your life to rescue me. For that, I am grateful. The artifact connects with her, pulling your minds together and showing her all that you have seen. The prism, your dream visitor, the protection that keeps you from obeying the absolute and becoming a lithid. She knows it all in a moment. Her mind reels, but is no longer clouded. She accepts the truth. She has no choice. There is much we must discuss. Do you have a safe place to camp nearby? Yes, I do, Minthara. Goodbye for now. I will see you soon. Damn, Minthara doesn't need no Moon Lantern. Just trying to see the spells you're casting or weapons. For this part, Todd? The only thing I did so far was use Invisibility Potion. Um, okay, so that's complete. So I think we can go back to camp now. Am I due for a long rest? Maybe? Not really. I have no level 3 spell slots. Could just go to camp. You know what I do have, though, is my new Spell Crux amulet. We'll go ahead and use that right now. 
and get back a level three spell slot. And then we'll take off the amulet, put on this one, and let's go to camp. Might be recruiting Minthara right now. Maybe she only comes to the camp at night. I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a quick look around here. Hey, there she is. We did it. It does not compare with the comforts of home, but your camp is almost palatial in comparison to my previous accommodation. Ooh, nice word choice, Minthara. Thank you for allowing me to come here and for bringing me back to myself. Each memory that returns to me is more disturbing than the last. The things that I did in the name of the Absolute. The things that were done to me. They broke my mind. This is cool. You're not seeing any, any of Minthara's yet? I was fighting the group at the entrance? Oh. Yeah, I don't even remember what I did. Doesn't even matter that that, that combat encounter is all over. Didn't even count. All right, and uh, you're strong. You'll recover. Strength will not save us from an enemy that can dominate our will. While our tadpoles live and the cult have the means to control them, we will never be safe. We must eradicate them, starting with General Thorm. I mean, Catherick. My deference to him is a habit that will die hard, I fear. You'll join me in this battle then? Not only this battle, but all that come after. Swear that you will keep me close until the Absolute is dead. Okay. At least. We got to RP a little. We're kind of deceiving Minthara a, a little bit here. We might sign on for killing Catherick, but not necessarily the Absolute, because we want to work for the Absolute. So we'll deceive her a little bit without an actual skill check. And why are you so keen to join with me? If I leave your side, the prison will no longer protect me, and I will cease to be Minthara. The Absolute will make me its puppet again. I would rather die. Very well. You can join me. Thank you. I knew you were different to other true souls when we lay together. Now I know it was the prism that silenced the absolute in those moments, not you. But it was not the prism that held me and touched my mind and body. That was you. Now that you're free, Minthara, we can spend more nights together. For now, we will travel together and fight together. In time, perhaps we will lie together oh. again. Oh, we will. Kind words do not always come easily to me. Her entire being joins with you for a moment, and you see all that she is. Dangerous, cunning, wounded, brutal, paranoid and utterly loyal to those she trusts and you have right, Harry, their yeah. trust along with a small measure of her affection it is a rare thing well hidden in the cold fortress of her mind and it is precious together we can have our vengeance on those who infected us mm. rest well and keep your wits about you Damn. tomorrow we go to war with the cult of the absolute Totally thought Minthara would be all for fighting for the absolute. This really puts a uh, puts a wrench in my plans. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. But it's cool though. I like how these characters are unpredictable. Um, yes, me and Minthara. I did give Minthara the old Wolfheart FPS coconut oil massage treatment back in like episode four or five. Sleep well. We'll venture forth together come morning i would gladly join you in the fight leave one of your other allies here and I all right so the one thing i have to try out first here um 
I'm very, very curious if she is going to set everybody off at Moonrise Towers. So let's go ahead and save. Let me dismiss Kurtz here. Actually, let me, yeah, let me dismiss, dismiss Kurtz. Where, where's Kurtz at? Where you at, buddy? Where are the damn hirelings? Am I blind? Oh, he's over here. Oh, I didn't know you could click on their portraits on the mini map. That's actually really cool. Moving in. Of course, he's hanging out with Jurgle. This vessel is at thy disposal. Shut up, Kurtz. Do what thou wilt. Leave me alone. Art thou certain? Return it to the Fugue Plane. That's some nice lore right there. The plane where souls are judged, but I think their souls are actually stuck A there forever. Mortal soul. Encumbered? Oh, did I get all of his... Did I actually officially dismiss him? Oh, did I... I wonder what option I clicked right there. Well, whatever. Let's see what we got here. Latest. Does it give you all of his gear? I did officially dismiss him. Um... Okay, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let me just try something. You wish to consult. I just want to go to Moonrise and just see. I could even fast travel there. Let's just find out if Minthara is hostile towards this camp. With haste. I have to level Minthara up all the way to 8, but before we do that, I just want to test this out. Oh wow, they're going to just let me walk right up and in. It's risky to enter Moonrise with an unwelcome oh. companion. Be sure to keep them close, so you can speak on their behalf if the cultists ask too many questions. So we still get the dialogue checks. Okay. Steal your... Okay. You bang the Emperor? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Voice actor who voiced Gary Allen's girlfriend and Rick and Morty. As dominate person, the boss killed his minions, fouled my party, and then sat back. That's awesome. I'm proud of Christopher for banging the Emperor, though. Takes guts, man. Breathe deep and move. Takes real guts. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave Minthara in camp at the moment. And we're going to explore Moonrise Towers without her. I'm going to keep Kurtz at my side. Um, I don't think I need a long rest, so let's just travel right back. And let's continue with our search of Moonrise Towers. I don't think I want to progress the entirety of Moonrise Towers until we do some more in the Shadow Curse Lands, because we still have... Um, a lot to do, but at the same time, I don't have a moon lantern, so I'm not exactly sure how I could even do that. Where can I get a moon lantern? Let me see if, uh... Let me talk to Ro real fast. I don't remember where I found the pixie lantern in my other run. No moon lantern. Wish I could just break one of the lanterns. An honor, true soul. My husband banged the emperor and run one. <laughs> Did you have a talk with your husband after? All right, so we've explored. Why is everybody showing yellow right now? We've explored, I think, the entirety of the first floor of Moonrise Towers. So let's go up to the second floor now. Why is everybody showing yellow right now? I don't like that. There's one right at the exit to the Shadowlands from the forge. The trick is to find the pixie. Hmm. I think I actually remember where that is. I think I know where the pixie is after you said that.
Okay, why is everybody showing yellow like this? Am I bugged out right now? One second, guys. I don't know what key I hit, but... Waste a step. So on my other run, like I said last stream, if you guys want to watch that episode, just search Wolfheart FPS Moonrise Towers. It should pop up. I came in from this right here. You see this wall? This is how I infiltrated Moonrise Towers. Went all the way to the tippity top of the towers from the outside, came down, broke this wall, and then I jumped my entire party down into this area and there actually was Marcus the absolute character was standing right here and I jumped my entire party right over his head and snuck into this room right over here pretty funny it doesn't seem long ago that Mintharu would have sought to kill us and now we've welcomed her along. We're nothing if not magnanimous. What do you make of Cuthric Thorm, Shadow, now that we've seen him in the flesh? He's trouble. Worse, he's a traitor. Whatever loyalty he had towards Lady Shah is long gone. It would please her greatly to see him meet his long overdue end, I'll wager. for communal use it seems oh that's Let's mark show some respect marcus Wasn't is in this room cunning. didn't even see him he's camouflaged over there my old friend thanks for your help with isabel the general was most pleased don't worry i gave you some credit so we helped marcus take isabel earlier pretty cool character level seven aberration Aberration. These things have stayed interesting. And this is Balthazar's room, I believe, right here. We can't go into unless we sneak into it. We have symbols of the Zentrim. Uh, never mind, we don't. Seen the view out west from the terrace? All those beasts camped under one banner. That's the Absolute's power. The General's power. Oh, I didn't change Shadowheart's hairstyle. When you put on a wizard hat, it changes her hairstyle guest. automatically. The General had her brought to the roof straight away. Big plans, I'd say. It just kind of changes her hair whenever you put a hat on. I think it's all hats, actually. All right, well, we could technically sneak in here um, into Balthazar's room. Let me know if I need to do that right now, actually, though. General Thorne's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. 
The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her oh, mind damn. enters yours abruptly, Whoa. flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. A pool of warmth spreads through your mind as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. Oh, I like you. That was inventive and efficient. There's a waste of my time. I didn't come here to clean up other people's mistakes. Your confidence is delicious. I can see why the Absolute might be hungry to dig deeper into that mind of yours. I certainly am. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. Uh-oh. Can distract her by drawing her toward your hunger for power. We could do that, but something tells me that's not going to do anything. So let's go with... We'll go with deception or persuasion. Distract her with thoughts of your care for Shadow... Oh, distract her with thoughts of your night with Minthara? Whoa, what would that do? You think Larian's prepared for that? You think that would have any... We have to try it. We have to try it. How curious. I've only ever known Minsara to moan with pleasure when somebody's losing a limb. She must have liked you. Such a shame she'll never smile again. But I'll enjoy the memory of this moment. With the absolute, okay. your fantasies can become more real than flesh. The pleasures of the mind can surpass those of the body. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Good for you. How do I get what I want? By serving General Thorn. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. Is it true that General Thorm is invulnerable? I mean, we already saw that scene, so we already know that. And why should I serve General Thorpe? You feel her presence in your head again. She grips your mind, squeezing until your vision blurs with pain. The General is the Absolute's chosen. Serving him is a great privilege. My finger? One that I'm beginning to doubt you deserve. Or that's something else. She's a way forward. You would be wise to play along. Apologies. What do I need to do? There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most oh. trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Cool. Okay. What exactly was this relic he was sent to retrieve? It is something that General Thorm desires and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. Insight failed. I aided Nier in the Underdark. He sought the same thing Balthazar does. Yes, and he failed to find it. Little wonder he hasn't returned here. You've seen how the general deals with incompetence. They bleed. Wonderful scene no Nier doubt again. He's chasing after Balthazar in the dark. I hope he finds him. Forgot about They're Nier. likely to tear one another to pieces. Totally if forgot they do, about Nier. Balthazar will pull himself back together again. Nier won't. His usefulness has expired. But your utility to our cause has only just begun. And what if Balthazar is dead? Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. Cool. So I didn't expect to get a quest 
to go so i already know that this content exists of course with belthazar and the night song but i didn't expect to be sent on a quest to go do it i was actually about to skip this entire top floor or stay away from Ketherick's room because i wanted to go do that content this is really cool that there's actually a quest that sends us there so i'm doing things in the right order you said you lost contact what do you mean and i accompanied him it was destroyed shortly after he left moonrise hardly a surprise we're protected here but outside the shadows are hungry understood the shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry you'll need a moon lantern to survive them take one from balthazar's chambers but don't pry yes the last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head i believe he uses it as a chamber pot Balthazar's room key. Well, everything's just working right for us tonight, isn't it? Kinda. Oh, I do have to run to the bathroom real fast, if you guys don't mind, though. Uh, Nier can't join your party. I guess it's possible he could be a camp follower, but I don't think he's a camp follower either. So I'll be right back. This is getting good. amazing how much heat my pc puts off it's like my window air conditioner it's like lord voldemort and harry both casting a spell at each other you know how it just collides in the air <laughs> that's what i feel like my air conditioner and pc are sit up for a little bit i'm back uh hold on one second let me make sure my webcam's not going blurry there we go. Okay, we got a new quest. Disciple Zarel has asked me to find out what has happened to Ketherick Thorm's advisor, Balthazar, and more importantly, find the relic he was sent to retrieve. Can't give up now. I don't even remember if we picked up the relic quest in Act One on this run. Did I? What did I even do? I don't even know. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. We don't have to go back to the. Last light now, though. We can just get right in Balthazar's room. Missive from Catherick. I can't read that without getting in trouble? Hold on, let me hit F5. Tempers are rising. Nope, I can't. Look at this room. It's insane. Man, the the pixie is so much easier to navigate the shadow lens than have, having to use a moon lantern. Hey, Justin, how are you? Kurtz is a hireable companion, too. You can hire hireables from Withers, the skeleton in your camp. Ooh. 
when you poison a foe, heal yourself for 1d4 hit points. There's actually quite a few poison items in this game. I wonder if you can do like a legit poison build. We're going to put that on a Starion. Um, I mean, I could start using like Wyvern's poison and things of that nature. It actually might work. Yeah, it actually, I think it will work well with a Starion if I start using poison on my weapons, which I pretty much never do because it's kind of tedious. But that's pretty cool. Um, let's get rid of that. Oh, it's really that small? Oh, it's right there. Okay, we're gonna have to dye that. Do I have any dye in here? Let's see. I have dye back in my camp too. Orange dye or muddy red dye. So let's dye that red. Oops. Yeah, that looks pretty badass. And then you know what? We'll also dye Astarion's drow studded leather armor. I gotta up I gotta upgrade his armor. That it, this armor looks so good though. It really does. Whoa, yeah. Alright, let's do the helm too. How's the Starion looking right now? Pretty badass? Yeah, he is. You guys know he is. You just won't admit it. Better than nothing. Okay, there are a ton of traps in this room. Reminder, acolytes are permitted entry in my chambers for the sole purpose of collecting moon lanterns. My library is not to be tampered with. While the Absolute appreciates your eagerness to learn, my bookshelves do not. Any requests to borrow from them must be given to me in advance and are like to, likely to be refused. I think that's... I think we found a spelling error. If you desire information on poisons, do not think to read any tome on the subject here. They are inclined to grant more knowledge than the written word could provide. Remember, the Absolute's purpose is better served by a beating heart than a poisoned mind. So if you choose death, I will ensure you serve her still. Hey, Aaron. Darion's looking to die for? Like, isn't that so cool? Like, that's legit. Like, like a, an artist at Larian drew all that digitally. It's crazy. All right. So I don't exactly remember how these bookshelves work. Um... We do speak with the dead right here. I think we can. The corpse does not respond. Oh no. Well, hello. Hmm. What's that? I don't remember which ones it was. Those who doubted me, may the storm claim your final breath, and the earth reject your rest. giant finger that's disgusting can't wait to get back to Cazador's mansion Balthazar's room Goblin troops, though crude and a bit dim, are valuable because they are adaptable and can be fitted into a number of different military roles, excelling as archer skirmishers, skirmishers and ward cavalry scouts. If rigorously drilled, some can function as disciplined... Wow, okay. We're just talking about goblins the entire time. Goblins and their Spartan formations. Oh, yes, 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 yes. The disc is formed from slate 
and engraved. The symbols are striking to look at, but you aren't sure what they... Without a cipher or primer to aid you, the disc's message could be near impossible to discern. Um... How come the other ones worked fine? Oh, I guess it's different. No matter how hard you try, you can't make any sense of the symbols. I thought I already had this quest. Oh, compare the disc to the one from the crash. That's pretty cool. The pattern forms as you gaze at the disc. And from within that pattern, a story emerges. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver. That his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelaman. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one, given how expertly it was encoded. I'm going to do a video on this at some point in the future. Um, so it's really cool. When you meet Kithrak Voss for the first time in Act 1, he actually is plays a pivotal role. Pivotal role in Gith Yankee history. And he's the one that's riding the red dragon in act one near Joaquin's rest. It's so cool to meet that character and have no idea who that character actually is. Holy gifted memberships. Rumple, thank you so much for the 10 gifted memberships. Welcome to all the new members. And thank you so much, Rumple. That is equivalent to a $50 donation. So thanks a lot. Got some great names in there too. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Oh. Okay. The disc doesn't respond. I'm gathering up all the Githyanki artifacts because I'd like to do a deep dive into the lore of the Githyanki at some point because Larian has revealed and continued lore that's never been spoken of before in, in the Forgotten Realms, like anywhere, from Wizards of the Coast, from books, from other video games. Like, Larian is, is the company that's revealed to us more lore, which is really cool. Um, okay, so... We read the third book in the series about Prince Orpheus. This one explains that Voss attacked Orpheus, but he lives. Thanks, Rumple. Appreciate that, man. That was a big gift. This is a log on the work of one of Balthazar's necromancers, Cressa Bone Daughter, dated 210 days ago. After the state the fallen one was in, I never expected Cressa would be able to save it. I was hoping the usurped thing would die. That's what it would have wanted. It's not as if Kessa, Cressa, studying it is going to prove much. It was damaged in the attack far beyond what the mere tadpole could do. But she seems fond of the foul creature. Let her play with it. I should not have, in hindsight, let Cressa keep her pet. Ever since it was shipped onto the Nautiloids to be deployed, she has been inconsolable. It won't survive out there. It needs me. It isn't like the others. The feral thing will make a fine warrior. For the absolute. And now my best assistant is distracted thinking about it. Ha. She will come to heal again soon enough. If not over, then through. Oh, um, let's look at his personal notebook, too. There's a lot that reveals a, a lot about these characters if you read all the books. It's still a drain beneath the library's conventional medicine shelf. It's wasteful to let that blood seep through the flagstones, and it will rust the spikes besides. A line slashes through the above, the same hand and fresh ink below. Disregard, the smell gives me sweet dreams. Okay, I think we're good to get out of here. We got the moon lantern now. Um, let's check out his balcony. No one stopped me yet. Uh, there's more lore to everyone in this game, but I was talking specifically about the Gith Yankee right there. But Larian was given the opportunity to expand on all of Forgotten Realms lore, many different topics. Sorlock, Gloomstalker, Oathbreaker, Paladin, and a Lazel. What is Lazel? Fighter? In your run? That sounds like a deadly run. Okay, and this brings us to the second level here. Just so you guys can see how cool this game is, let me show you something here. Let me show you. Swift as my feet can carry me. 
This is what I did on my good playthrough. Because the entirety of Moonrise Towers was hostile towards me. Right when I came across the bridge. So I had no choice but to use stealth and subterfuge. Infiltrate quietly along the rafters. The Absolute owes you nothing. You owe her your faith. She had it. Until she kept the real feast from us. They dropped corpses down into the tunnels and below the tower. Enough to feed an army of us. If the Absolute will not share her dead flesh, we will tear it from the backs of the living. <laughs> As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. These are funny little creatures, aren't they? Your friends seem faithful enough, so they may start by feeding on your flesh. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sainted. You would never. Feet are mine. Yes. No. Get away. That's pretty jacked. Oh, I thought there was going to be a cinematic. Still pretty cool. Oh, shit. Only one. Whoa, are you coming after me, buddy? Thank you for your first ever super chat being to me. I appreciate that. I feel honored. Hey, Wolf, been watching your BG3 videos for a long time. Beat it last weekend. Skull. And when I saw Wolford FPS come up during the credits, I thought it was cool as hell. Keep up the hard work. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate the dono. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, too. I never expected Larian to put my name in the credits. It's really not that big of a deal, but it just shows you, like, what type of company Larian Studios is. So that was really cool. Cheers. They also put every single person that play tested their game. Not all early access players. We are technically play testers. But the people that actually went out to their studio for free um, and volunteered to, to play test like further parts of the game, they put all of them in the credits as well, which I thought was awesome. Uh, Zyphiel, for example, his name is in the credits. But yeah, really cool, Larian. Uh, it just shows you they go the extra step. They go the extra mile when it comes to showing appreciation to the community and people and... Alright, so... Yeah, let me show you guys this. You all watch credits? Uh, actually, I didn't. The credits are like 35 minutes long. The only reason why I know that I'm in the credits is because people told me and then I went and found it. The credits are so long. Now, with that said... I actually would watch, I would listen to the credits because uh, the music is beautiful. It plays the entirety of the soundtrack, I think with some extra songs too. Um, but I finished the game at four in the morning. So when the credits procced, I was like, yeah, I can't sit here anymore. And I ended up leaving and I didn't know until people told me. I didn't even know there was a, there's the, uh, the scene with Withers at the end too. This thing might be resistant to... Anyways, I don't even want to break the wall because I don't know if that's going to do anything. But yeah, pretty cool. You can break the wall right here and then you can jump down in and do a completely different run into Moonrise Towers. <clears throat> no, I haven't met any of the voice actors. Nope. Uh, the voice actor that I've talked the most to is, is, the, is the voice actor for Scratch. 
Nice guy. Maybe one day I'll try to do some, uh... Maybe one day I'll try to do some content with some of them. I'm just not really like... I really don't like to do interview type content. It's just not my thing. Um, as you guys see, there's a ton of other channels that have done interviews with the voice actors and actresses and things like that. And I had the opportunity to do that, of course, but it's just not really like the type of content that I enjoy preparing for or, or doing. So that's why I didn't do any of that. But maybe we can do something else in the future. Think of something creative. All right. Um, I think we're good. I think we're actually leaving now with the Moon Lantern. Probably pick up this shard. It might be worth a lot. Not sure. Hey, Wyvern. What's up, man? How you doing? Enjoy your dinner. I Damn, you're making me hungry, Wyvern. Why you gotta do that to me? You too shy to interview actors? Maybe one day I'll do some interviews. We'll see. It's not because I'm shy. I'm not really that shy. I just don't. I just don't like doing that type of content. Like it's just not. It doesn't interest me. I'd rather just watch somebody else interview people if I'm interested. Everybody has their own types of content that they like to do. Some channels love doing reviews. Some channels love doing lore videos. Some channels love doing guides. Other channels hate doing guides. Some channels love doing interviews. Some channels love to focus on community problems. Some channels like um, focusing on comedy. You know what I mean? There's a million different ways that you can do content creation and not every style of video fits every content creator. I don't really like doing game reviews. Like I, I really don't. I just don't enjoy it at all. That's why you guys don't see me do it too often. I hate it because then I have to rush the game when the game first comes out and the entire playthrough. I, that's not how I like to play games. I don't like to finish games in two days. And then the whole the whole essay format of the reviews is just it's Still it just takes forever. I, I just I don't like doing game reviews. I might actually start focusing more on game reviews in the future though, um, because once this Baldur's Gate three craze passes, um, I got to start figuring out what type of content I'm going to start doing after that. And game reviews are always a popular form of content, at least to keep me employed. <laughs> uh, even if I don't necessarily like love doing that type of content. All right, let's pull out the Moon Lantern. I like how the Moon Lantern does five to 10 damage. Oh, no, 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 brother, don't jump. Oh, it just goes on the back like that? That's pretty funny. Hey, Jim, what's up? Thanks a lot, man. Glad to play as a star yet. I've seen how the voice actor is. Yeah, Neil Nuban's really funny guy. He also streams over on Twitch, too. He's been doing a Baldur's Gate run. Entertaining, uh, funny. Seems like a good guy, too. Elder Scrolls 6. All the voice actors and actresses seem pretty cool when you when you look at interviews that they've been in and things of that nature. Another step forward. And they all love the Baldur's Gate 3 community, I can tell you that much. They love their role in Baldur's Gate 3, even though some of them don't even play, which is fine. Okay, now we have the entirety of the Shadow Curse lands to search here. I think we're going to go to the Toll House first, because I walked right through it before. Let's go to the Toll House. And the Toll House is right here. And actually, let me go out the back side of the Toll House. Because I wasn't able to... Am I able to get down there? I am. But we gotta go through it first, or I have to jump down. Lead the way, Curse. Will I be in BG4? <laughs> Probably not. That'd be really cool. What path lies before me? But I'm not a voice actor or actress. I'd, I would like to get better at that craft a little bit. I've definitely improved in speaking over the years of having a YouTube channel and doing the lore videos and stuff, but I have a lot to learn in terms of voice acting, that's for sure. 
but it does interest me a little bit. And as a content creator, the bigger you get, the more opportunities you have to fill a role like that because companies know who you are and you have contacts with them. You guys want me to you guys want me to get good at voice acting and try to get a role one day? I'll do it for you guys. Even if I have to start off in like some 299 indie game, I'll do that too. That's some you gotta start somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Again, it's blocked from behind. You should leave now. I should have left when I still could. Okay, let's um let's go talk to the toll master. On my other run, I pushed the toll master off the roof. <laughs> Didn't talk to her at all. Walter, thanks for the ten dollar super chat, man. I appreciate it. Love to hear it. I have a lot more guides on the way. Should have a ranger build guide coming out. I'm thinking on Saturday is my goal right now. If I can get the editing done. Thanks, man. What do you bring? Uh, uh, who are you? I require good. Shit, hold on. I don't want to... You cannot leave. No! You I must pay. I want to talk with my high charisma character. Okay. We'll toss a... We'll toss the creature a gold piece. Put the half-orc in charge of my party. Yum yum. That's what I'm gonna do to food right after the stream is over. I'm gonna tear it up. Uh, okay. I guess I can give you another one. Seem to really be enjoying it. Again. Jeremy, hello. Alright, this is starting to get a little old. But alright, one more. We're not going to do this all night, are we? I require more. Shadow Monk's really cool, Goon. Only played a little bit of it myself, but that's a great choice. How much do you want exactly? All that you have. Um. Oh, shite. I didn't even have a chance. <laughs> My half work. He looks down at the gold and he's like, damn it. What did I just get myself into? Oh wow, okay, I'm broke now. Damn hog! What? What should I do? Oh, we didn't give all my gold. I only gave the gold that was on curse. Damn, man. I wanted to try that. We might we might come back after this and try a couple other things. That's just unfortunate, you know what I'm saying? Listen to that music. I still don't have spirit guardians prepared either. Unbelievable. This is crazy. 607 HP, too. How are you supposed to kill this damn thing? Hey, Sven. The hard DC check to resist the astral tadpole. You know, I have a high charisma character, though. I wonder if I can do that. We'll, we'll try. Maybe we'll try it after. Um, I got to think about things here. I'm in a really bad position. Almost dead with Leon. Missing HP with Shadow and Kurtz. <sighs> really tough situation here, my friends. So the cool thing is I don't really know much about this fight. 
Because like I said on my last run, I shoved the coin person off the roof and just instantly killed them. So we have to pay attention here and see what happens. This isn't looking too good though. Honestly, I might take the opportunity attack. I think it's actually worth it. Oh no, no, I'm not movement. Never mind. Amount of gold you have determines its HP. Is that how it works? Wisdom check. Ooh. Oh yeah, the illithid powers are wisdom checks. Time to move. These boots have seen everything. Little bit worried about Shadow Heart being down here. Do I have a dimension door? You know what I do have. Bloodborne style bosses. Yeah. Oh, I miss Bloodborne so much. Man, I've really been slacking um, with using aid and also not preparing my spells with her. Um, with Shadowheart. Really wish I had Spirit Guardians right now. Oh, I'm a Tempest Cleric. I keep forgetting that. So let's start making use of that. Well, so much for peace. Oh, this is my, um, my half-orc. Also has aid. Or a protection. Damn, I'm a little bit too far away from that. We also have Bane. And Lay on Hands. Let's finish this. Skulls. Hey, Shy. Gonna send Tardis a vid on something you found in BG3? Well, share share with us all, Shy. Why can't we be part of the the inner circle? Is it something we said? Turkey bird, hello. Hey, Jesus. We're in quite the pickle right now. 
Please go up my paladin. Please go up my paladin. Please. Yes. It's so cool. What just happened? No choice but to keep going. You bastard. This is unbelievable. Pain might not be bad, but then again. Gonna be an opportunity attack. Probably a con save, so it might not be worth it even doing that. Damn, we're in a bit of a pickle here. This is uh this is crazy. Could it be a method of removing the armor without destroying the coins? I remember seeing that before and trying to think of a way to do it with like heat metal or something like that? I don't know. I don't have that spell anyways. Uh, what else would remove armor? This might be a TPK. Just look at, look at my party's HP right now. This is crazy. Also kind of curious what happens if we kill all the skulls. 
wonder if that does anything. Regret, guilt, greed. have the moon land turn out with this character right now it's probably the worst to have it out with your tank character because then they can't use their weapon all right we're going to take an opportunity attack i'm in big trouble right now Big, big, big trouble, folks. Damn, no blur, no mirror image. could do um it's a strength ability check no it's a strength saving throw when you use gust it's not an ability check i don't think using hex strength would do anything gust of wind is a strength save it's not constitution strength save but hex Gives you disadvantage on charisma ability checks or strength ability checks, not saving throws. So I don't think that would do anything. Okay. Um, 
I'm actually going to leave everybody right up close to this guy. Hope there's no AoE attacks. Don't want him to go anywhere right now. And I could drink a potion. Yeah, sure, we'll drink a potion. We could also create... Or I could also... No, okay, we're good. Something, something tells me that you probably should go after the skulls first in this encounter, and that might actually, like, make her weaker, or maybe not her armor, I have no idea. But that's the beauty of doing a combat encounter for the first time in a CRPG. Figuring that out. Damn. Alright, come on, please survive, please survive. Yes, 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 yes. Why did it skip my turn? Really the worst possible thing, most unlucky thing that could have ever happened to me right there was it skipping my character's turns. Whatever attack that the gold monster used. Come on. Oh no! Dude, you're, oh, everything's just going wrong! Come on, game! I had I had it figured out. I had it figured out. I had an entire plan and it was gonna work and I was gonna pull off victory when all else looked horrible. I swear to God, I was going to pull it off. It was going to happen. And the whole thing just went to shit right there because of one thing. Oh, damn it. Okay, I know what it was. I was lethargic from the haste potion. Oh, it's so unfortunate, man. Oh, God. God, 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 God. I made a mistake right there too. I should have shoved her. <laughs> Gotta get real lucky right now to do what I want to do. Oh man, I can't believe I was lethargic. Literally, like it's just the it would all be over right now if I wasn't lethargic. Wow, I actually survived. Too much to bear. All right, I think I have to accept defeat. Or do I? We don't TPK. That's not how we play. Let's go. It's not over yet. Trust me. It's not over yet, y'all. You gotta trust me. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh. 
Darth, I don't think you understand the possibilities in Baldur's Gate 3. I could have absolutely won that fight. 100% could have won it if I wasn't lethargic right there. It wasn't through sheer force. What I was going to do was I was going to shove the enemy off the cliff right here, off the top of the house, and that would have one-shot the boss and it would have been over. But since I was lethargic, it switched my character's, or it skipped my character's turn, and then I, then I screwed it up. But you can absolutely win fights in a million different ways in this game. Sometimes it doesn't go as... When's my last save point? Okay, it's not that far back. You will mourn my loss. Our boss, solo tactician, Grimforge Golem. Yidus Deletus. All right, well, let's do it again. All right, let's see where we're at here. Almost full spell slots. That's good enough. I don't have to take a rest for that. Someone there. All right, let's go ahead and cast aid right now. We can do aid level three. Let's go ahead and enable. Let's see. Let's get rid of. Get rid of daylight. I don't think it's going to help us up there. Pick up spirit guardians. Maybe mass healing words too. Don't need revivify at the moment. I do have two scrolls. We got guiding bolt, healing word, necrotic wounds, bless. Good to have in case I need it. I don't think I'm going to be using it though. Um, but I might. Speaking of hope. All right. I think we're looking pretty good. Come Nothing to do with the now. paladin. Under a smite. Could bless with the paladin, actually. Don't need aid. Grab lesser restoration. Cool thing about Thunder Smite. The procs on top of Divine Smite. Searing Smite, Divine Favor, Protection from Good and Evil, Command, Compelled Duel. Okay. Magic Weapon. Okay, let's head back off. Have to keep going. I never see another empty sand world with a few rocks. I'll be happy. Oh, Starfield. <laughs> All right, so let's talk with... Replicator said it was a wisdom check, so that means I should technically talk with Shadowheart. Maybe there's another way you can do it in dialogue. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll approach with Shadowheart. And actually, what we should do is... Split. And actually, I really should separate my... Now that we know that this could turn into combat here, I should separate my party members. But that wouldn't be no fun, would it? That would take forever. Or would it? Okay, let's take... I've got take these guys. Oh, crap, I can't leave because of the... Never mind. I can't because of the shadow curse. Interesting. Uh, don't don't worry about it, Tardis. You don't got to delete comments like that. I appreciate it, though. I'd rather people not be scared to talk in the chat, even if even if they say things that, even if people are backseat gaming. But thank you, though. I forgot what check it was. Oh, replicator forgot. Uh oh. Ah. Oh, great replicator, you're putting me on the spot right now. Looking ahead. Oh, to make the boss kill herself. All right, we're gonna we're gonna approach with my main character with high charisma. We don't have to do the elithid check. Tardis the tyrant. 
Ah, Tartarus is good. What do you bring? I had, um, in the past, I think we had mods delete comments that were backseat gaming. That becomes way too hard to manage. And because pe people are going to backseat game no matter what, no matter how many times they say it, it's always the chat's always going to be filled with people telling me what to do. So I've just accepted it as a content creator. I appreciate people watching me and you being here. And I know when you backseat game, you're doing it in good faith. You're, you mean it comes from a good place. You want me to do the right thing because you want me to succeed in the game. So I appreciate it. So it's just something that I have to deal with as a creator. To put it in perspective, though, to a few of you guys, the reason why it's called backseat gaming. You guys know where backseat comes from, right? Like backseat driving. So imagine driving a bus, okay? Imagine there's 30 seats on the bus and you're the bus driver and 30 people behind you, every single one of them is telling you a different way to go so you can find a shortcut to get to your destination. Imagine what that does to your brain. Think about it. Left, right. No, you gotta go straight. There's traffic up ahead. Think about it. What would that do to your brain as a bus driver? You would have to either put earmuffs in and just focus in and do your thing, or you'd have to try to navigate a million things coming into your head that you don't want to come into your head. And then on top of that, you're already subconsciously like thinking about the tip that they told you. You can't prevent it because you already read it. So you're already thinking about that. And that's screwing up with your initial plan, but somebody else's tip has just came in too. Then you're questioning who's right and who's wrong. Then you're questioning if the people in the chat actually know what they're talking about, or if they're just guessing. Go. It's okay. We don't gotta. We don't gotta delete the comments though, because it's never. It's always gonna be a thing. And I appreciate people being here. So, all right, here we go. We have a sorcerer check here. Pure, unadulterated arcana. Oh, huh. okay. Let's try that. I require good. Turn your brain into an elder brain. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I don't know if I should give gold. Let's, this is with my character. Shit, I forgot about... I forgot to change my gold out. Crap! Um... I have no more gold. If you cannot pay, you cannot pass! Gold! 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 Alright, let's, let's try it again. I want to see what, what this, uh... I want to see what this dialogue check is all about. I don't even know how you get to it. Too many vids about late game that people like me try to talk about to sound smart. <laughs> Wonder if people in Faerun should try backseat adventuring, people who get tadpole. Probably why I got kicked off the elementary school bus. You're telling your school bus where to go? Are you a school driver? Your bus driver? <laughs> So that's progress. All right, let's take my goal and we'll send that to Shadow. Wait, what did I just do? I just drink a potion? The hell did I just do? Yeah. That's what that skull just said. Oh, wait, I need a little bit of gold. No! What do you oh, bring? shit. We're talking with Shadowheart right now. Oh, my God. Okay, this is just all going wrong. All right. Um. Oh, what do you require? Okay, here you go. Okay, here you go. Okay, here you go. Um, okay. Another. Okay. Again. More. Yes. Again. Mm. Yes. Again. It is good. I wonder if there's actually a number on this. What if it's like 500 and then you actually like complete the check? How much do you want exactly? Um, okay, here you go. What, what even just happened? 
I don't even know what these dialogue skill checks are that you guys are talking about. Interesting. All right, let's try it one more time. And I'm going to not give gold this time. Exhaust more dialogue options. Yeah, we're going to do that this time. Let's try some other things. Secret is being a bard. All right, let's lead with my charisma character. Let's actually lead with my charisma character this time. Send that to Shadowheart. Here we go. Moving ahead. What do you require? I require gold. If I give you gold, what do I get in return? You can pass, but first you must pay. It's, I feel like all these are going to lead to to combat, except tossing the creature a gold piece. It seems to me you have enough. Okay, let's give the creature one gold piece. Short race origin character? Me too. Me too. I wish we had like some exotic ones like the Dragonborn. Gold. I don't hand out so much gold for so little in return. You may pass the river, but first Aha! Here we go. Warlock Persuasion. Gold is such a limited desire. With the right help, you could become so much more. That's actually really cool how hard it is to come across this dialogue. Like, you, ha you have to do the exact thing. And, the, like, I tried three times and didn't get this. And now we're getting it on the, on the fourth try. That's pretty cool. Wow. Got it. The gold is not for me. The gold is for the tall. I collect the tall. I collect the gold. Says who? Seems to me there's no one here to oversee you. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that 90% of people, when they met the toll collector, save scum the shit out of it for the first time. <laughs> Go. This is actually quite challenging. Go. Go. No. I paid back. 21 is actually not too bad with a high charisma character. Wow, that's awesome. Got a lot of experience out of it, too. You killed her? That's what I did on my first run, too. I didn't even engage in dialogue. I just shot down from above and then pushed her off the roof. The Twist of Fortune. When you roll a two or less with this weapon's damage die, re roll it and take the new result. That's all right. Blood money. Strike out greedily, dealing an additional three bludgeoning damage per 300 gold that the target possesses. That's so cool. That's probably why I was one shot with a couple of my characters in the previous fight, because my one character had so much gold on them that they took so much damage. That's awesome. Okay. Unside trade visa. 
An unsigned writ suggests a counterfeit in progress. Whoever made it was planning to trade illegally within the toll house. All right. What now? So now that it's now that we're done, I'll let you guys backseat game. Do you guys know how to actually remove her armor? Does heat metal work? Oh, it is the skulls. Okay, so you kill all the skulls and then her armor gets removed. What does that, has anybody ever tried heat metal? Because it, it's such a great idea to try that. I just bet you it wouldn't do anything though. I have a lot on my mind and well, in it. Romancer as a star, yeah. <laughs> Tried killing the skulls. I tried focusing her. Didn't get the achievement in both cases. Did I do something wrong? I didn't know there was even an achievement. Gloves of Battle Mage's power. When a weapon attack roll inflicts a condition, the wielder gains arcane acuity. Pregnanti has a plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class. Per turn remaining. And the problem is a lot of spellcasters don't do weapon attacks. You could you do a crossbow attack though, or you'd be like a spell blade or something like that. It's part of her corruption. Heat metal is a druid spell. I don't know if it's on any other caster's spell list. I'm not sure. Oh uh, yeah, I did do the bar boss. Not on this run. On my first playthrough I did. We're gonna go over there probably after this, actually. A strength check. I don't think I want to use up my elixir of the Colossus. Yeah, why not? That's so cool. How big my half orc is. <laughs> this is one gold. I wonder if there's a key to this lying around somewhere. There's one gold in that vault. That's hilarious. Minthara's back at my camp right now. The reason why I don't have her in my group is because I was exploring Moonrise Towers. I didn't want to have to provide a reason for why she's in my group. Um, I will be picking her up soon. And actually, maybe I'll go back and camp and do that right now. Um, but I have to level her up as well. It's going to take up a little bit of time. I might just do that after the stream. A lot of maids with duster pictures in this game. Over On the walls hangs a seaside landscape, which often catches my eye during the course of my work a day life. I'm surprised Garen Goth chose such a decoration for her toll house. I've never known her as any appreciator of nature, beauty, art, not but the cold clink of gold. One day when my days are repaid, I'll travel to the coast, breathe in two deep draughts of air, and forget Rythwen forever. Iron Vine Shield. While the wielder is holding a weapon empowered with Shillelagh, when they are hit by a melee attack, the attacker takes one piercing damage. It's a nice druid shield right there. Let's walk across that. 
Okay, I thought that would have collapsed in or something. Man, I don't have the light cantrip with anybody. He can light up items and chuck them into dark areas. No one stopped me yet. I don't know if I have the energy to pick up every single gold piece here. But now I'm feeling like I have to. What's that? Uh, I game on my main monitor is a 27 inch, Chrissy. I can get nice use out of 1440p. And I can also read the text Seized in games. Inventory. Oh, well, we're not getting in this way. I noticed with the 1080 24 inch monitor that I had before, I was having a hard time reading some of the dialogue no, not in bg3 but in other games resistant to piercing damage um okay we can easily take this down it can also just jump through the window easy peasy easy peasy beautiful cover girl you know what i'm saying the minimum damage on this oh you gotta do at least 22 damage instead of wasting a spell slot let's just jump up in there oh, let me just see if there's anything else up here because we're taking our time uh, i want to be clear Letting Minthara tag along with us was your idea. So if you wake up with a dagger to your throat, that's on you. Better a dagger at my throat than fangs, Astaria. <laughs> Excuse me. I would never. But fine. <laughs> Take her if you wish. Just know I'll be resting with one eye open. Poor druid, nice. Full house clerk's key. I wonder what that would get us into. Make sure there's no secrets over here. Oh, there's another safe. Um, it might be trapped. Why is everybody failing their perception checks? Okay, nice. What's that? Oh. Better not be cursed. If you find the safe, I'm inside. Had to shut myself in to avoid the shadows. There's no gold. If you're thinking of killing me for it, Garengoth moved it. All to our personal coffers. And I'm unarmed anyway. Just let me out when the shadows are gone and I'll find a way to repay you. I've only got three candles with me, so hurry. Combination to unlock the safe has been written in big, bold handwriting below. The heavy door grinds open. The combination worked. Damn. I thought we were going to meet like a, a character. Figures are they're dead though. That's kind of sad, man. No, give me some light in there. Are you kidding me? Shadowheart, get the hell out of the way. Is there anything we can do in here? Need to keep going. Safes are airtight. Are all safes airtight? Every single one of them? Is that like a property of safes to keep items safe inside? Yeah, I don't know if there's anything you can do here. Uh, I wish there would be more. Why is it showing like the skeleton? I wonder if there's a head that we can put on. Oh, hold on, hold on. 
It was worth a try. <laughs> Can't animate dead. It's already dead. Speak with the dead? Mm, not gonna work. No. Okay, I think that's it. Just a little lore. did know that, yes. Can't you also put them in a chest or a backpack? Problem is they weigh a lot. I think that's why people probably store them at camp as opposed to keeping them in their inventory. Uh, if you store corpses at your camp, you can, when you finish your rest, you can animate them at your camp and then leave. Pretty sure you can do that. Jewels and silks from Cormier, it says. Empty, though. That's so cool. I love just the little lore tidbits. So you guys should know Thay, if you've been following the lore series. Thay is run by the Lich King, Saz Tam, who is referenced in this game quite a lot. And it's far east of Baldur's Gate, east of the Sea of Fallen Stars. And then Cormier is also east northeast and cormir in forgotten realms lore in is like times. um is a place inspired by arthurian legend that's the easiest way to put it a place with knights and, and a royal court i hope they do a game there one day i would be so happy So if you want a good King Arthur tale, anything coming out of Cormier is what you're going to want to look up. I don't know how much information there is out there on it, but... Never wanted the easy path. Okay, I think we're pretty much good to leave here. I'm going to teleport quickly to the last light inn. Uh, wish I had a bag of holding. Oh, we got another door. Oh yeah, I also want to come back here too. This is another way you can get into Moonrise Towers, which we discovered last time. Are there any more hags? I don't think so. I think Larian initially had like a whole hag quest line planned, but they didn't release it or didn't finish it or decided not to do it. I did not save Isabel. This, the title of the stream is Evil. Although you could probably save Isabel with evil intentions. Yeah, unfortunately on my good run, um, some evil things happened that were out of my control, kind of. Um, so you guys are seeing me do similar things to my good run sometimes. Um, Isabel was taken on my first run too I tried to save her She was also taken on this run Because I gave her up Sometimes there's going to be similar results It's because of how things turned out Alright this should be I don't Let me Keep a blade close. Let me lockpick For example uh, On my good run The night song Perished <laughs> In like a, a normal good playthrough where things go as planned and the night song would have survived the night song's probably gonna die on my run in this one too unless i decide to change it up just for the sake of experiencing new content which maybe i will and maybe i can find a way to make that rp make sense on my evil run this 
this run was all about RP in the beginning, but I guess the more I keep playing, the more I'm just curious to experience content that I didn't experience before. There's always a way to make things make sense, right? Take every wizard hat you can get. Because they're cute. What's that? Yep, never been here before. Didn't even know this existed. Oh. Whoa! Dude, what is this? So much new content. This messy financial ledger records an import tax charged to merchants by the Wraithwind Toll House. The tax was clearly excessive and included gems and jewelry in addition to gold. Several notes are scribbled on the final page. Trade slowing merchants scared of Ketherick, nervous of war. He will not take my dupe. Dude, I always feel like I'm playing Elder Scrolls when I do this. Oh yeah, Replicator, are you playing, uh, are you playing Starfield? I know you're one of the biggest Elder Scrolls fans out there. I didn't even, I was just thinking, are you actually playing Starfield or holding off for now or you don't like it or you love it or... Okay, did I miss anything in here? Nope, let's go ahead and jump down now. Oh, we don't have to jump. Be on my way. F5. Got your butt kicked in Act 3. A good evil person knows when to be evil, when to be kind. In parentheses. True. Very true. And actually, I think I can already RP in my head saving the night song. Don't know if it'll make sense, though, knowledge-wise, in-game, for my character to know the future, but... I think we would like the night song's help to defeat Ketherick... We also don't know that Ketherick's going to betray anyone yet. Yeah, I've never even been down here before. Why would I save the Night Song of Shadow Hearts in my party? Um, yeah, it's tough. It's tough to, uh, tough to figure out what I want to do for that. Is there anything else down here? Is this all it is? Or am I missing something here? What's the point of this room? Doesn't look like you can get up top. I don't think there's anything else to do in here. Um, so how the hell do you get out, though? Oh, right here. You have to try Starfield. Seems standard Bethesda fare, so I'll probably like it. Part of the reason I avoided your Starfield streams. Okay. A little underwhelming in here. Thought I'd get something cooler. Hells. Torchlight won't last long here. She later. He sees dead? Ooh. Wait, is it completely dead? Or is it just not a good PC? Because you can play on GeForce now. If your PC is working and it turns on, then you can play on GeForce now. If it doesn't turn on at all, though, then yeah, I don't know what to tell you. If you have a console, though, you might be able to do GeForce now on console, too. What to do?
Picture of beer just sitting right there. I'll take. No, on the skeleton, the toll person wanted the tunnel, the ma oh, tunnel to the mason's guild. Okay, all right, so it makes sense. Story-wise. Let's have a look. Well, hello. I think I got the hag hair. Yeah, I did. It's been so long since I've... It's been like three weeks since I was in the Hag's Lair, because I took a break from the game. Knight play like a paladin. I mean, martial combat wise, yes, but not really. Different types of spells. Eldritch Knight is arcane magic, and paladin is divine magic, and they're both pretty different. Pick up the tanker. Leaning in, you can see how the creature's skin barely holds it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting wide open. He looks set to burst, <laughs> and will probably be left hit deep in his juices. Go on, Flynn. Make it drunk. Be drunk. You and I both. To our good health. Um... Damn, um, we, we might do this again just to see how it plays out. I either probably want my half-orc or I want a Starion to do this. Because we have sleight of hand checks, which are dexterity based and saving throws, constitution. I have a better chance of succeeding doing the saving throws, so let's drink with the brewer. Hope we don't die. Oh look, resistance? To what? It's going to let me ha apply that right now? Oh yeah, it's a saving throw. Oh, this is so weird, doing a saving throw in dialogue. That, that just blew my mind for a second. Okay. Um, Les, why don't I have... Oh, you can't do guidance. You can't do guidance because it's a saving throw. Boop, boop. I can handle it. The liquid burns your throat as you swallow, but otherwise you feel no ill effects. That's awesome. After a Thorm's son. Looks delicious. It actually looks delicious when it was pouring out right there. Oh my god, it's like turquoise blue. I would drink the crap. It looks like a plat. Um tell me I'll let him talk. A fable a saga. Do you like me? 
There's a bar in the city that I grew up near, in Syracuse, New York, called Three Lives. It's video game based, and they serve a drink called the Plasma Grenade. It looks exactly like this. Like, it's got the plasma look to it, that color. Making, this is making me really thirsty, not gonna lie. Baja Blast? Oh, you can't get to... I'm going to Taco Bell tonight. Why'd you say that? Brother, are you serious? I am trying to get healthy. First of all, I'm half crippled because I can barely walk because my knee is not doing that good after surgery. It's getting worse right now. And I'm eating Taco Bell. Do you guys know what I'm... I'm going to look like this guy. If, if you guys keep... You guys are a bad influence. If you guys keep talking about that good stuff. I'm going to look like this guy in about six months time. Burning no calories and eating Taco Bell and drinking Baja Blast. I'm definitely going to Taco Bell tonight. 100%. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, it's going to be so good. Okay, let's do, um... Hey, we got some performance checks. He wants us to tell him a story. A silver-tongued devil bade me feast in his lavishly appointed banquet hall. Come on, we got this. We got this. No oh, shite! 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, we were so close! Inspiration point. It went higher. 56, 7 to 18, that got it. Baja Blast with vodka. May have to hit the gym again. I do need to hit the gym, but I can't even walk into the gym right now. That's how little I can walk at the moment. Barely get around my uh, my house. CK Gnosis, I'll have a build guide coming out probably Saturday. If you like the Ranger class, that might be an idea. It's a really cool build. All right, let's let's uh, let's do what he says. Let's do a saving throw again. Do as he says. Drink. We got this. That's so cool to have resistance added to a dialogue check. That's D&D. Right, Rocky. Your belly rumbles as the vile brew fills it, yet your mind remains miraculously steady. More stories. Oh, I can taste that Baja blast. Wendy's frosty and french fries. I never really got that. It wasn't my thing. All right. I ripped apart winged imps spawned from the fires of Avernus. Need like a 15. When you got it, you got it. That's all I'm going to say. Did they breathe flame? Did their screams rend the sky? Oh no! Don't tell me. Let me dream. Ask, question, make your query, and dream once more. <sighs> All right. I got you, my brother. 18 DC, we got three inspira or two inspiration points. Damn, I'm good with the dice. I'm good with the dice. Swig is as painful as the last, but you remain in otherwise sound mind and body. I, I know you. I knew. I know. Mm -hmm.
Uh oh. Is he going burst? You want father's personal mysterious secret? Secret? No. Not never. Father said orders commanded. Don't say it. Don't say it. Look at this guy talks like 80% of the dialogue in Starfield. In terms of pacing. Oh, it's so disgusting. <laughs> My Dragonborn space. Oh, dude, that's freaking disgusting. Oh. You know what's really cool is that this actually ties into the quest. I didn't really know that. On my other run, as I ended up fighting him. The brute revealed that her cage is located in the Thorm Mausoleum. So at this point in the story, we have no idea what this relic is. And now we know that it's... She's inside. She is in a cage. That makes you wonder, what could it possibly be? It's unclear who this woman is, but the cage might be related to the relic. So next we want to go to the Thor Mausoleum. You guys want me to tell you what this says in the Thoras alphabet right now? You guys want me to do some real translation? D-R-I-N-K-S. Nailed it. Thoras alphabet expert. And no, it's not because of the picture of the beer. Okay, I actually deciphered that on the spot. A rat bat? Whoa! The words for the attention of Dark Justicier and Tasha are written across the top of every page. This is an excerpt from the last page. Warning, day 15. Zizmunuak said Catherick wouldn't hold on to Moonrise Towers for long at this rate. Evening, day 18. Amani Atkani claimed it was unfair that the Thorms had the cushiest jobs. Night, day 22, Mark Jacobs, Benjamin Blanchett. Made jokes about the Thorms, especially Lord Ketherick. Said he was a misery guts, a weepy nutsack, and discussed exactly how his wife would have liked it. I know what Mark and Ben said was just plain awful. Lady Natasha, but they're some of my best friends, and I've never heard such talk out of them. They were upset over their wages being cut, and were the drunkest I'd ever seen by midnight. I know it looks bad, but hand over your heart. You've never met two gents more devoted to Our Lady, I swear it. Different, more elegant script appears beneath it. Our Lady of Loss would be proud of you, Madeline. Do not worry about Mark and Benjamin. Myself and your two gents are simply going to have a little chat, I promise. The Rat Bat. Attack rolls against beasts have advantage. It's a 1d8 weapon. That's actually not bad. That's not bad for a character that's wielding a one-handed weapon. Whenever you're facing a beast, just to switch over to this to have advantage on your attack. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. I wonder... Hold on. Does it give you advantage? Attack rolls against beasts have advantage. What if you had that in your inventory and you did a ranged attack? Okay, we're gonna go out this way in a second. This says, this says welcome right here. W-E-L-C-O-M-E. -E. Maybe it doesn't say welcome, damn it. I was hoping that would have lined up. It actually might say welcome, no. Yeah, it does say welcome. Cause the W is this little thing right here, the bunny ears. W-E-L-C-O-M-E. -E. And then these are just little, little things. I'm like 80% sure.
before we go out that door, let me just see what else is here. You guys like when I show off my Thoras alphabet knowledge? Um, this right here, shit. Welcome to the waning moon, to lifelong friends. I have no idea what that is. And new. Do 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 Hang in there with me all Hang in there with me if y'all don't mind Y'all come back now you hurt Let me get a closer look at this sucker right here Do 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 I can't wait to do a lore stream one day and we just focus in on the lore. Okay, what do we have here? See, the W is the bunny ears. Um. Oh, does it say meat? I think it says meat. M. E. And then. It, oh, it doesn't say meat. Hold on, wait. M. E M E N Menu. Oh, okay. It says menu. There's actually a lot of them that say menu in early access. Says Trump. That's actually kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. I'll let that political comment slide. Larian Studios just putting hidden message hidden political messages throughout their game. He served us. But will be forgotten soon. Oh wow, that's weird, man. Thorn family lore video. That's a great idea. Yeah. Um, I'd have to really, I'd have to play through offline and gather everything that I can, because when I'm streaming, I don't retain knowledge at all. Um. And I'd like to do that for the Gith Yankee crash too, and do a video on Orpheus. That's pretty spoiler filled though. Need to find a way forward. But yeah, there's a lot of cool lore videos that I could do, but for now I gotta focus in on the class guides and the build guide videos for this month, and then we'll see what we do after that. Barred from entry, the following ex customers are unwelcome. Do not let them in, even should they beg, especially should they beg. Martin Doughty, Adam Smith, <laughs> the pickle incident and then we have Garengoth Thorm she knows what she did must have stole gold that's pretty funny another step forward okay now we know that says menu right there Popped, the floors are spattered. Say hey for the pub. Drain your mug like nothing matters. Say hey for the pub. Nice. Adam Smith is the lead writer. The big book of little drinking games. Pain spree. Gather your pack, capture a gnome. One by one, your chums gloat how to best maim the gnome. An alphabet I ickle order starting with A. Come up short, take a drink. Last chum standing gets to kill the gnome. Example, arrow to the bollocks. 
Break its shins. Club its head with the broken shins. Stoned. Get a stone. Invade an inn. Kill everyone there. Fill ten tankards with ale. Arrange them in a triangle on each side of the table. Long ways, you fool. Arrange them first and fill them. I don't care. Then deal a drink. Attack a village with your pack. Keep killing till a chum loots a deck of cards. The fat cat's burst out of his breeches. Say a for <laughs> He's singing. Drinks, welcome, in vegetables. I think. All right, let's go out that back door. Where the hell was that? That was back here. Any connection to Faerun and Kryn from Dragonlance? I don't know. I've never read any of the Dragonlance books. They're on my to-read list. I know that they're somehow connected. Like, it's not impossible to go from Kryn to the realm space in Torel and Baldur's Gate. With that said, they're very, very separate in terms of their lore, and I don't think there's much overlapping at all. But maybe when you get into, like, Spelljammer type stuff... Maybe that's when you start hearing more about, like, both realm spaces or both universes. Generally speaking, not connected. But I think technically they are connected. It's not like an entirely different... Uh, it's not like um, Middle Earth versus... Middle Earth versus Faerun or something like that. Like, it's not that that separated. They're still part of the same lore overall. GM Dragon, thanks for $2 super chat. Bet you can't fight Drunk Wolf. Thanks, man. The Waning Moon's deliveries are recorded here in a careful hand. The rear page is, however, devoted to the distiller's personal reflections. Okay, we don't need to read that. Punch drunk bastard while you are drunk. It's so cool that you can do like a, an item build around being drunk in this game. While you're drunk, you have advantage on attack rolls. You also create a blast with each attack dealing one to four thunder damage. And serpent venom toxin. Let me hold on. I got to write something down. We're going to do a drunk build one of these days. That would be hilarious. What was the name of that item? The Punch Drunk Bastard. Disadvantage and dexterity and charisma checks. Advantage on attack rolls, but you also create a blast with each attack. Don't touch me. That would be funny if Kurz was my drunk character. 
Oh! oh I thought I, and I hit the wrong button. Look at that. We have advantage on our attack roll. Oh, come on, game. I don't have much more alcohol. If you did this build, you'd have to just carry like a bunch of wine on your character at all times. Oh, I have a plenty. How can I not see that in his inventory? Am I blind? There it is. Okay. Wait, does it only work once per... Oh, well, you're drunk. You have advantage attack rolls. That also creates the blast rate. Why well, don't I have advantage anymore? I right, wouldn't. We'll mess with that some other time. Pretty cool, though. Oh, dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. What? Booze helmet that auto injects you with alcohol every long rest. It sell all alcohol you encounter at camp. Yeah. Okay, we got to do something right here with this book. But first, let me just check over here. Search notes. They describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distill a thizzable thorn sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. He procured several parts of a worm gullet but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious but not fatal. Visible devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients without success. After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Thizzabald required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. The book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, and particularly redolent cadavers. Thizzabald enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Focus your eyes on the page. Mentally separate the blank ink from the purple stain. Your mind separates the black from the blue, revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. With the corpse rose petals the package contains, you might create Thizzabald's purple worm poison. I picked this quest up on my other run too. Visible's brewed up belly glummer, a truly despicable poison devised from an agglutination aggl of corpse roses by the experimental mind of Thizzabald Thorm. Cool little side quest that you get, and they mark on your map. I think it's right here. Nope. Brewer's alchemical stash.
almost looks real. Superb. <laughs> Uncle. Quick step. Be funny. <laughs> the guy died taking a shite. Poor guy. Get an antidote, I don't know. I wish we could go to the city at nighttime in Baldur's Gate and like you're walking the dark alleys and it looks like this. This would be so cool to be deep in the lower city. I think Larian did a fantastic job on the lower city. There's a couple things that I still want was hoping for. Rythwin House of Healing, presiding surgeon, Malus Thorm. We'll do that next stream. Not going to get into that tonight. I'm getting real hungry right now. Get Yankee right here on my other run. Yes, I have been taking all the tadpoles. Me and Astarian have been taking them all. I think I still have one. Oh no, I don't have any more. Yep, been eating as many tadpoles as I possibly can. Corpse Rose. T. Sending you the requested ingredients as per your letter, including the purple worm glands. I am eager to see the result of your experiments. Please send me some samples when it's completed. I have a few clients who would be very interested in the toxic fruits of your labor. Somebody's looking for a poison. Balls, brood up, belly, glummer. Coach your active weapon in poison. Targets must see DC 17 con save or become poisoned and take one to six damage. Or you can have somebody drink it. All right, y'all. I think uh, I think that's gonna be a good stopping point for today's stream. I got some video editing I gotta work on, and also I got very unhealthy food on my mind right now. I don't know if I'm gonna give in to it or what. But next stream, we're going to do probably Malice Thorm, the surgeon. Um, we'll probably do this little mausoleum right here. And I think we probably got two, two more sessions until I make it to actually finishing Act 2 in the bottom of Moonrise Towers. Maybe three. Yeah, it's been a fun session. It's cool trying out different things. Thanks, Brett. Appreciate it, man. I'm gonna send you guys over to Slandered Gaming right now. You guys, oh, he just started his stream too. This is gonna be great. Just started 12 minutes ago. He's got eight people in his chat. Slandered is a fantastic CRPG content creator. You guys go raid him right now. We have 300 something. If you guys get him over 100, I'm sure he'll be ecstatic. Wait, did I send the right link? Hold on. Yes, I did. I, I think I've only been able to raid Slandered one time ever. Really good guy. Talk to him all the time. Click on that link in the chat, y'all. It's another YouTube stream. Um, Slander Gaming. I love his channel. I think he does good stuff. He's entertaining as well. So please click that link. Stop over. Hit that thumbs up button. At least say hi, and then you can leave if you, if you got other things to do. Okay. You guys all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. I'll stop over in Slander's chat for a little bit. And I'm off to go get some unhealthy food and also work on videos for the month, okay? Once again, putting a link in the chat right now brings you right over to Slander Gaming's YouTube channel. How many people you got in this chat right now? I'm only seeing 13. Where are you guys at? Click on that link. It probably hasn't updated yet.
I'm telling you guys, you're not going to regret it. Click on the link. I only see 13 people in there. There's 289 people still watching my stream right now. The only thing I ask of you, okay? This stream was free content, okay? All you had to do was click on it. The only payment that I request out of you is that you click on that link, okay? And you got a free couple hours of entertainment. So click the damn link. Okay, love you all. Bye. Thank you guys for the donos tonight. Also, the gifted memberships. Greatly appreciate it. You guys keep this channel alive. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Terry. Rather.